Sundays. I'm Stu. I'll be leading with you guys throughout the morning, throughout our session today. I'm excited to be with you guys. A lot's happened in the week that we've just had. We've had a few changes that have happened. But I can, because we're live, I can actually hear some people outside right now. See those windows back there? They lead to the outside world. I can hear some people out there enjoying a skate ramp because of the little bit of extra freedom they've got. So that's pretty exciting to hear that. Hope you guys have been enjoying your free time, or your little bit of extra time, a little bit more freedom you have with being out and about. The chat is live, so I can see a few of you guys have already joined us on the chat. If you are going to join us on the chat, then you're more than welcome. Please do. Please do join us on the chat. But if you are joining us on the chat, make sure you follow our guidelines. That means if you are under 13, make sure that you have a parent comment on your behalf or an adult comment on your behalf or get their permission first. Make sure that you please do not give out any personal information. We want you guys to be internet safe and that is a huge way, a huge step to keep you safe on the internet. And let's just have some fun. Let's just be nice and kind to each other. Let's be encouraging on that chat. To get you started on the chat, say hi. But I've also got a question for you guys. And my question for you guys to start the chat, to get the chat rolling, is what is something you love to do that you just feel great after doing it? What's something that you do that afterwards you just feel, woo, your little woo feeling? While you guys start thinking of that, I'll introduce the team. I'm not here alone. I am with the team. Kyle is here. Say hi, Kyle. Hey, guys. I'm here. 
Now, Claude, I'm what's here. something you do? You are here. Well, nice move. Thank you. What's something you do that makes you feel woo afterwards? What? Honestly, absolutely, doing this, being here online with you guys, hanging out and just like doing this whole Sunday morning thing is what makes me go, oh, woo, yeah, it's awesome, it's so good, I feel so energised and pumped by that. You are pumped by that, Lydia, she's up in Dargaville, she is ready to give us some awesome stuff this week, and of course, it wouldn't be Blalo Sundays if he wasn't here joining us. Extra beer, do you want to say hi to the folks at home, Extra beer? There he is. There he is. Hot, hot. What are you reading? He's re oh, oh shh. He's reading his book. Well, he's reading the book, but I've got to do the show. I can't not be quiet. I need to talk. I Ex think that's what he does to make himself feel. Yeah. That feels him feel him feel woo woo. Oh, reading a book makes you feel woo. That's awesome. <laughs> and hanging out with a friend like grins. That is awesome. All right, bring it back to me. Bring, <laughs> bring it back to whoa. <laughs> I think, where did I think that come from? <laughs> okay, okay, we're going away from that. We're going from We're that. live. We're live. What are the we'll things be, about we'll, being we'll live? Be nice to our friends. Be, yeah, be kind to your friends, the extra beer. Now, one of the things I love to do is I love um, creating with my hands, whether it be in my shed, working with some tools, building a new project, or if it's in the kitchen making a beautiful meal. I love cooking on the barbecue. And after I do that, I just feel... Woo! It is the woo feeling that I get from doing those things. But what about you guys? Let's check in with the comments. What is it that makes you woo? Let me see. Angela says playing with your sister. That is awesome. Um, Pixie playing with your friends. Tristan scootering with your friends. That's awesome. Ah, Al loves longboarding. I think I know who you are, Al. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you. Um, playing games with the family and friends. All those are great activities and I love that you get a woo feeling but they're all so different aren't they they are all very different and I, that's what I love and this week's value is something that we all need to do but we all do differently so to tell us more about that Cole and your crazy impressive Photoshop skills they're ready they're ready they're ready all right we're ready take it away Kyle okay guys have you ever felt have you ever been in a situation, here's a situation like this, we've got our situation where you have felt meh. Yeah, you felt like this guy here, you're just like meh, 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 really, really meh, like this guy here. You know, you feel like, you know, like you're walking through mud, let's get some mud in here, let's get the mud going, get some more mud, get the mud going there. Yeah, you feel like you're just walking through mud and everything is heavy yeah everything even this even this is like oh it's so heavy it's so heavy oh wait 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 oh, we got the wrong one here it's so heavy oh i can't hold it up i can't hold it up i've got i've got ah oh! yeah you might be feeling like you know everything that used to be interesting to you is now boring you know, like, maybe you like, here, longboarding, sir? Would you like to do some longboarding? No, I'm feeling flat and bored. I'm feeling flat and down and meh. I'm feeling meh. Look at my face. I'm feeling meh. Like that. Or what about, okay, they're not longboarding. What about books? Here we go. Books. Would you like to read some books? No, look at my face. I'm feeling meh. Oh. Okay, well then, what about, hey, we know something, here's something that will get you, oh, feeling, feeling not meh anymore, yeah, go, there. No, no, I don't feel like doing that. Uh, 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 I feel meh, I feel so meh, like that. Yeah, you can feel so flat, there's times when you feel really flat, and you feel like, you know, you've kind of like, feel like you might have, oh, get the head, get the body, get the, what have we got? We've done something. It's gone. Where are you? Come here. No, we've lost. Oh, there we go. There's it. There we go. You feel like, oh, you've run out of batteries. There we go. You feel like you've run out of batteries. We're free. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Batteries. They're going. They're gone. Your batteries are gone. You're feeling flat. There. Yay. All of us. Batteries are gone. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Go. Go. Yeah. Alright, but we don't run on batteries, so that can't be right, can it? Oh. So, you know, you start thinking to yourself, you think really, really hard about it. You get out of the mud, get out of the mud here. You're thinking to yourself, well, 
What's the matter? I know I'm sleeping well, right? And I know I'm eating all the good things that I should be eating. And I know that I'm doing exercise. Da -da -da, but I'm still just feeling really, really drained. What is going on? How can that be? Why? Why? Why do I feel drained? What's the deal here? Well, as, pa as time passes, as time passes, you know, you keep feeling drained like this guy here you're feeling like uh, feeling drained you know you know if it goes on you'll eventually hit empty <laughs> like this guy here oh but what you need to do so when you're in this situation before you need to recognize when you are being drained and then recharge before you hit empty okay guys so that's what you need to do because hitting empty we just saw it is not a good thing it's not good at all it's like really ah there we go ah, la, 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 la. oh no no ah, look, what is that that's me empty ah run away but that's not a good thing so recharging what does it mean it means that recharge means to be re-energized or refilled there we go recharge well where's that going there you go, recharge means to be re-energized or refilled. So for you, that means getting out there and identifying the things that make you feel energized and make sure, here we go, look, like painting, yay! Puppies, yay! And football or soccer, yeah, awesome. Find those things that make you re-energize and make sure you do them. And if you do that, look at this guy, he's like, yay, but if you do that, you will be full of energy and re-energize in no time. Look at this guy. Ah, oh, there we go. Wait, come here, go bigger. There we go. Ah, oh, no, it's not working. Here we go, there. Re-energize. Very nice, Kyle. So, but what you're basically saying is all this stuff here, the charges, the batteries, they're not going to help. Not. Where would you put them? Where, where would you put them? I was where only thinking them? the nose or the ears, but I don't yeah. think that would work. There's no point of that, but it would be so easy. It would be so great if it was just as simple as plugging yourself into a charger or sticking a couple of new batteries in and then feeling that woo feeling again. But we are the ones who actually need to recognize when we start feeling drained, when we start feeling bleh, Meh. And we need to find ways for ourselves that we recharge. Now, I think it would be great if we could give you some tips along these lines. And I'm thinking there's one perfect person to give you some tips for that. And that would be Lydia. She is always so full of energy that she must have some amazing ways at recharging for herself. So let's get ready for the catchphrase. Let's get do what you need to do to be ready for the catchphrase. And I am going to send it your way, Lydia. Kia ora everyone! Hey, question for you guys. Do you ever feel a little bit like meh? Maybe a little bit like blah? Maybe a little bit flat? Like not quite yourself? Maybe a little bit like this face right here, right here. Well, in those moments, it's important for us to recharge. But what does recharge mean? Let me tell you. Recharge means re-energize or bring back to life. 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 Life! Lots of things can drain us of energy. Sometimes if we don't get enough sleep, or maybe we don't do enough exercise, or we aren't eating the right foods, we can feel really drained. But sometimes, even if we do all the right things, we can still feel blah. So in those moments, what are we supposed to do? So when you're running low on energy, it's a time to recharge before you hit MD. Actually, that's our catchphrase for this week. Recharge before you hit MD. Come on, say it with me. Recharge before you hit MD. We need to put some actions to this so we can really, really remember it. Okay, where are the actions? Actions, 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 actions. Actions? Actions! Here are the actions! Come on, jump up to your feet and do them with me. We're gonna go like this. Recharge before you hit empty. Let's do it again. Here we go. Recharge before you hit empty. Okay, and in today you can say, Tia kina po Bridge, let's try that. 
Tiki na o nako. Got it? Get it? Good! Okay! So we need to recognize when we're being drained and then recharge before we hit empty. If we hit empty, things can get pretty hard for us. We might get really sick or we might get really, really grumpy and have a big, big meltdown. It's no fun to completely run out of energy. So it's important that we take the time to recognize the warning signs when we're starting to get close to empty. Because then we can take the time to recharge before we hit empty. So different people recharge in different ways. Some people like to spend time alone by themselves, doing things maybe like reading, going for a walk, maybe doing some writing, something to chill out. But other people find being by themselves just drains them and makes them feeling really empty. So these people, they need other people to connect with to help them recharge, like going and hanging out with others, maybe at a party or, or having a big Skype call, anything that connects them to other people. So however you recharge, with people or without people, that's awesome. I wonder which way you start to feel drained. Being around people too long or being by yourself too much. Whichever it is, when you start feeling drained of energy, let's remember to recharge before you hit empty. So this week, whenever we start to feel a little bit meh, put our catchphrase into action. Let's do it. Recharge before we hit empty. Be energized, people. Let's get recharged and energized together. Have a great week! Not like this, not like that. Alright, now let's ask a question, ask a question, she asked a question during that section and she said, which way do you feel a little bit more, uh, which way do you start feeling drained? Is it being by yourself or is it being around people too much? So how about you jump in the chat and tell us, what is it? Is it being around people that makes you feel meh? Or is it being by yourself too much where you start feeling meh? and bleh and all that. Meanwhile, I'm gonna show you my actions, my attempt at the actions for the words, uh, for the catchphrase. Here we go. Three, two, one. Recharge before you hit empty. Woo! All right, Kyle, what have you got? Show me what your moves. Yeah, up on your feet, up on your feet. Yep. Empty! Very nice. There you go. Recharge before you hit empty. You took it. it. I've got it this week. You got it. You nailed it this week. In fact, you took it to a whole nother level, which means I feel like you're challenging our oh. catchphrase king. Challenge off. Challenge off. Challenge you're off. Your... Challenge Extra off. Beer. Challenge off. Extra beer. Off. Show us your catchphrase moves. Here we go. <laughs> I'll say it for you. Give me the count when you need it. Three, two, one. Recharge before you hit empty. <laughs> You didn't even do the I think, actions. I think you're winning this time, Kyle. Okay, I think you're winning, Kyle. Extra you know, beer. Come on, let's do it again, extra beer. We'll give Show you another chance. We'll give you another chance. Here we go. Three. Are you... No, he's do you need the space? What? Do you need the space to do the actions? Okay. Oh, you're going to do it with grins. You're going to do it with a friend. Okay. Oh, here we go. He's going to help his friend. Three, two, one. Recharge before you hit empty. I don't know. I think, I think, the, if there's a crown to be had, Kyle, I think you take this the crown. This week? This, this week, week, I think you take the catchphrase crown for the actions. Extra is always very creative. He's very creative. He took some very creative liberties there. Now he's just been himself. <laughs> All right. Let me see the comments. What is it for you guys? How do you start feeling bleh? How do you start feeling drained? Let me have a look. Being around people, look, being by yourself. I don't like being alone, a bit of both. Some of you like being by yourselves. A lot of you guys looking at it is when you're by yourselves that you start feeling a bit eh. But for some of you other ones, it tends to be when you're around people. That's, see, we're all different. We're all so unique in the way we have been made. But we need to recharge. No matter what it is, we need to recharge. And I think I'm gonna set it up for Kyle to do something in a short space of time. Are you ready, Kyle? I'm ready. You're ready? All right, I'm going to hand it over to you. Three, two, one. Hey, guys. So this morning, I've got something pretty cool to... Uh, 
let's see. I've got something pretty cool to show you. I'm going to show you how to make and build one of these. Okay, that's not working right now, but oh, there we go, a little bit. I'm going to show you how to make one of these, all right, but the catch is you know that I've got only three minutes to show you, all right? So we're going to quickly go through what are you going to need. You're going to need some PVC pipe. You're going to need a wool blanket or some kind of cotton cloth or something like that. It needs to be 100% cotton. You're going to need some, well, so they don't blow away. You're going to need some plastic bags or something like some plastic bags, some plastic sheets. I've got this here and they could be all different colors or different things. You're going to need a marker. You are going to need a ruler and you're going to need a pair of scissors. All right, so I have three minutes to show you how to make this and that is how it goes that is the catch that is the deal with this all right so we're going to count down with me count down with me we've got three two one zero let's start okay what color should i do i feel like i want to make a black and a a red one today i'm going to be making a black and a red one now like i said you can make them all sorts of different colors and things like that so to start off you want to get your sheet and you want to be making six 25 centimeters by two centimeter wide one. So I'm going to be marking these out. I'm going to get my marker here and get my ruler like this and just bear with me. I'm going to mark it out here and we're going to mark it out again like this and we're going to do another mark there. All right, so I've got my lines. Now you could rule lines, but I'm just going to eyeball this because I don't have a lot of time. I've only got three minutes to show you guys. All right, so we're going to chop these out, cut these out into their strips. Okay, very carefully, very nice and carefully and easily there we go that's one okay we're making six remember now remember, if you can find some colored plastic then that's cool but you can just use your standard cl plastic clear bags or anything that you can find it's a great way to reuse recycle and all of that and you can choose whatever if you find colors you can make colors whatever whatever colors you want so that's my red ones done there okay we're going to go black black marker black plastic not too sure if that's a good idea but that we'll see if we can we can still see it so that's good so we can mark out another two centimeters by 25 centimeter strips there we're making six of them you can practice you can trial this you can make all sorts of different types of um shapes and 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 do some experiments with it see what works the best okay but this is an easy one that you can make in three minutes hopefully let's see what's our time like i've got a minute a minute 20 on the clock I might be running a bit behind time, but that's okay because I think this is it's quite a simple, easy one to make. Okay, and then we're going to cut those strips there. All right, so now this is the tricky part. This is the part that I really don't like because it just takes me a really long time because there's so many different little bits here. What have we got? We've got 57 seconds on the clock. You want to get them all lined up like that, and then you're going to tie them into a knot like this there we go oh great i did it usually i really struggle with that okay so there that's that's what you get and then spread it all out okay so now this is your little flyer it's called a static flyer now what you need to do is you need to get your wool blanket and you need to charge up charge up your pvc pipe charge it up so for about 10 seconds charge it up for 10 seconds 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 okay and then you need to get your flyer as well and you need to charge that up how are we go we've got 20 seconds on the clock i think we are good charge that up for about 10 seconds as well you get a lot of charge in there and then you just throw it into the air and whoa look at that it flies above the pipe like that look at that now you can try and do tricks. You can do it. Look, that's my timer up. My timer up. I did it. I did it, timer. Don't worry. There we go. That is, you can do tricks with it. You can try a block. You can do all sorts of different kind of things with it. And then as it starts to get a little bit lower, as it starts to get a little bit lower, then what you need to do is you just recharge it all up again. Okay? Well, recharge it, recharge it. Let's get some more charge on there. And you can recharge that. And again, look at that. That is cool. You can show your friends, impress your friends with this. And then you can try and do some tricks there. How cool is that? It's stuck on my microphone. That's okay. There you go. How cool is that? And that's a great reminder that you need to, when you're feeling drained, you need to find a way to recharge before you hit empty. Okay, there we go. So go make one of those. You can try all sorts of different shapes and sizes. Another great thing to use as well, if you can't, don't have any PVC pipe, is you can use a balloon and it's using static electricity to repel 
and keep that floating up there. Does that look cool? Is that cool? Do you want to make that and show your friends? That will really impress them. So go do that. Go have fun. Static flyer. Have an, an experiment with it. Awesome. There we go, guys. That's the three minutes. So there. Well, I um, am so glad you did that live because Ooh. if you were doing that like pre-filmed, I would have thought you are doing some crazy special effects. It just looks like it's floating. It's so impressive. And looking at the chat, it's a hit, Kyle. It's yeah. a hit. Woo. We've got, that's amazing. So cool. That is awesome. And we've also got a, wow. Wow. It is very cool. I just love playing with it. I'm it just is... like, it's very fun to play with. It is so cool, and I love the fact you, you still need to recharge that. It's a bit like us. It still needs moments in there where you have to get the old wool blanket out and recharge it. Now, we don't need to be recharged via a wool blanket. Unless you like to cuddle up and read a book in a wool blanket, then that's your recharging. But I want to ask you guys the question, what is something you like to do to recharge? What is something that you like to do? So jump in the chat. Once again, I haven't said it all morning. I feel bad. I keep thinking about it, but I haven't said it. Say hi to Nikki while you're in the chat, too. She's the one who is keeping you guys all tickety-boo on the chat. So make sure you say hi to her. But do please tell us what's something you love to do to recharge yourself. What's something you can do to recharge yourself. And right now, we're going to have it. While you're typing that up, have a look at a challenge we have given Lydia to do. Every week, we give her a challenge. Let's see how she handles this week's challenge. I'm not so sure about if she can pull it off, but let's see what she's got. Whoa. Oh. Hey guys, it is challenge time. And today's challenge involves this right here, my longboard. And basically what I thought was, you know when you're on a skateboard or a longboard and you're like pushing yourself with your feet, it can get really tiring really fast. So I'm thinking I'm gonna challenge myself to find so many other ways to use the energy and push me as far as I can go on the longboard. So stay tuned to see what happens. Goggles, helmet, one for the front, one for the back. Can can you please thank you very much? Oh, my hands, my hands stuck. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. And my jacket, all safe. Let's go. Whoa, test number one, fizzy drink. Plus Mentos. Let's see how far this goes. Here, I'll give you a close up look. This isn't heavy at all. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna get someone to help me out to put the Mentos in. Okay, as soon as we put them in, we're gonna put it down and we're gonna see. Oh, wait, wait. You gotta put it all at once. All at once. Oh, I can't control it. All at once, all at once. Oh, it's, it's a two, three, let's go. Go, 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 go. Put it in, put it in, put it in, put it in. Oh, 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 Come on, come on, Lydia. Take two on the fizzy and the Mentos. Ooh, fizz. Okay, I'm gonna need some help now, so could you guys come and help me, please? Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, rock. Are we moving? We're moving. Are we moving? Are we still going? Are we still going? Are we still going? Pretty far. Look at the trail behind me though. Thank you so much to my helpers. You are awesome. Fizzy drink on skateboard was a success. The old leaf blower. I'm gonna put this into action and see how far I can get on the longboard with this kind of energy. Here we go. But how far? Woo. But I have to admit, I feel like there was wind helping me a lot because I seem to keep going. Whoa, I'm actually moving on this thing. Ah! And that's as far as the cord reaches, so um, I got here. Okay, this attempt is using some different kind of energy, using wind energy. We're going to use a sail, hold it up on the board, and see how far it can take me. Here we go, let's do it. Okay, here we go. Like 
count it as a success. Propeller here, got a steering wheel that's attached to nothing, so that should help a lot. Using your remote control car. Got my steering wheel, I am ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna try and get reversed, get pushed backwards. Here we go. Come on, little guy. <laughs> this is actually working. I didn't think this would work. Stay away now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> this next idea is what I like to call a little bit of a stretchy one basically i've got this big slingshot here that i've kind of put together slash already had and i'm gonna just pull myself back and then release okay Ooh, i can feel the pull here we go three two one whoa whoa steer lydia go straight go straight okay i'm going pretty far i'm going pretty far let's go lydia go go Go, 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 go. Oh, and we're taking a hard, hard right right now. Wow. Okay, this was a solid effort. This is actually quite fun. Do not try this at home. <laughs> wow, that challenge. That challenge was so much. It was so wild. It was so fun. It was crazy. And it was successful because I found other ways to power the skateboard, other uses of energy, not just my feet anymore. Turns out the leaf floor went the furthest. It was so far. And this actually, this whole challenge reminds me that when we're feeling empty, when our energy levels are kind of dropping, it's so important to recharge before you hit empty. And there's actually lots of different ways that you can recharge. Just like there was lots of different ways that I could recharge the skateboard to keep it going. Well, some of them worked, some of them didn't work. But there's so many different ways for you to recharge so you can get your energy levels back up, back going. Thanks for joining me today, guys. See you soon. Bye. Well, Lydia, you are incredible. I did not think that challenge would work, but it was surely impressive. In fact, I'm looking at the comments, and I can see there are a lot of comments going, that was crazy, that is, they are so crazy, that is so funny. And what I thought was amazing watching it is I didn't think any of those would work. And then when I saw them, I went, nah, that's too crazy. It's not going to work. Yet it did work. And it's a bit like that when it comes to recharging. When we look at other people, we might think, nah, their way of recharging is not going to work. But it does for them. Everyone is so different. And we all have different ways of recharging. Earlier in the chat, I asked you what you guys like to do. And I see that I have a couple comments coming in. Hi likes to play video games. Hi, you are not the only one. I also like to play on the sticks. I like to hit those with my PS4. So I enjoy that. Angela likes to go for walks. Oh, I like going for walks in my backyard, but it's not its not all about me. But going for walks is awesome. Going for bike rides from Lucretia, that is amazing. That is awesome. We've checked in with you guys to see how you like to recharge. But what about you, Extra Beer? What, what are you up to at the moment? Where are you? Extra, where are you? I don't, I don't know where... What? <laughs> are you okay there, Extra Beer? What are you... He's just discovered the camera. <laughs> yeah, well, that's how we see you the whole time. We've had the camera on you. Didn't you know? What are you? Oh. Well, he's he's blown Move away. Back. He's Move a back. yeah. Get you, you if you You're too go, close. You, yeah, if you just go a little bit further back. No, back <laughs> the other way. <laughs> the other way. Here you go. There you go. Oh, the ducks are on your couch again, extra beer. What? What are you? What? So first he notices the camera is there. Now he's just turning his back to the camera and hucking a balloon. You never know what this extra beer is going to be doing. I have no idea. And you idea. just have to guess what he is doing. We have to figure it out. <laughs> okay, bring it back to me. I need, to, I need to straighten this up. I need to put us back on the path that we need to be going on. Okay. We've been learning all the today about recharging, that we all need to recharge. But let's ask the question, as we do every week on Blalo Sundays, what does God say about recharging? And for that, we get our guest speaker to come in and share with us. And this week is Michelle Davies from C3 in Tauranga. Say hi to her as we see what she has to say about what God has to say about recharging. Hi, everyone. 
My name's Michelle. I hope you're doing well. We've all had times where we can feel flat and like we've just got nothing to give. In those times when we feel drained, we're at risk of becoming empty. And being empty is not a fun place to be. In the Bible, there are lots of passages that talk about resting and taking time to refresh. But check out this passage in Genesis. Genesis chapter 2, verse 2 says, On the seventh day, God had finished his work of creation, so he rested from all his work. God created this whole world and every living thing. Can you imagine how much energy that would have taken to create trees and fish and water and rhinoceroses and people? It would have taken a lot. Even though God doesn't actually get tired, he still recognises that it is important to rest and recharge. I think that is why it is in the Bible that he rested. Because he wanted us to know that taking time to recharge is an important practice to have. Whatever you've been doing lately that has made you feel a bit drained, take a lead from God's example and take time to rest, refresh and recharge. Thanks, Michelle. There's some really helpful advice in there. And isn't it amazing to think that when God created everything, he also created time and space for us to recharge because he knew how much we would need it. That sounds like an amazing, caring God. Now, when we learn things like we have today, currently it's sitting up here, currently it's all in our head, and we need to find ways to take it from our head and put it into actions. We need to find some ways to actually put this in our real life day-to-day -day business. So that's when we need to take the opportunity to stop and to think about it. It's Stu's brain here. So I've been thinking, we need to recognize when we're feeling drained and so we can recharge before we hit empty. Some people feel drained when they spend too much time around other people. And others feel drained when they spend too much time by themselves. So what does it look like to be drained? Well, for each person it's different. Some people might feel grumpy. Others might feel tired. Or you might even just not feel like yourself. Being drained is not fun and we're at risk of hitting empty if we don't take time to recharge. So what does being recharged look like? For some, it might be about spending time with others playing games. For others, it might be talking on the phone. Hello? Is that you, Stu? Oh. How you going, mate? Yeah. <sighs> Let me tell you about my day. I know, like, I woke up this morning and, uh... As usual, I opened my eyes, um, put on my glasses, and I, I, you know, I jumped out of bed. Also, during my day, you know, I got up to so much. I, um... Yep, I put, I put, yeah. put a shirt on and, and some jeans. Uh, some shoes? Anyway, my toes felt trapped when I was five, and so I didn't really wear socks much for a while. And, you know, I kind of feel like mittens are the same, aren't they, really? Mittens are just, like, socks for your hands, really. Yeah, anyway, I better go. I better go, mate. No, oh, look, before I go, though, before I go. White socks. Yeah, you don't wear them with black pants. Yeah, no. Well, I, I did once. So. It just doesn't look good, right? It doesn't look good to wear white socks or black pants. Yeah, anyway, um, I better get going now. I better leave you to it. You know, how long's it been? Oh, oh yeah, 12 hours. Yeah, 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 that's good. All right, um, I'll, I'll see you later then, Stu. Yeah, I'll talk to you later then, mate. Yeah, yeah, good chat, good chat, good chat. Right. And for others, it might be being by yourself, reading a book, maybe a little screen time, or even something else. Whatever way suits you, make sure you recharge before you hit empty. It's the best way to make sure you don't feel flat or feel like you've just got no oof, oof, oof. So next time you start feeling like you're getting that bleh, meh, flat, drained feeling, make sure you recharge before you hit empty. Flat, Stu. flat, Stu. flat, Stu, wake flat. up. Dude, you zoned out again. Did I really? Oh, man. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm extra beer. Thanks, extra beer. beer. Extra beer. I'm good. I'm back. I'm back. I'm here. I'm here. Thanks, extra beer. Thanks for the help, mate. Man, do you know... That's a shame. Did I zone out completely where you, again? Where do you go? Where are you going when that happens? I don't know, but I get all these amazing thoughts that I want to share with you guys, but the weirdest thing happens when I zone out. When I come back, I look at the clock and... Time's just disappeared, so I don't actually have any time to talk to you guys about what I'm thinking and 
So I guess you guys would have ideas too. I'm wondering if you guys have ideas of what you can do to recharge. So in the chat, one final question for the chat is, what is something you're going to do this week to recharge? What is something you're going to do to make sure you can recharge before you bit hit empty? We're almost finished. So I just want to say thank you so much for being with us today. We've really appreciated it. We love being with you guys. We think it's so much fun. As Kyle said, it gives him a woo feeling at the start. It does make us feel woo to hang out with you guys. But if you wonder what our faces look like during the week, make sure you jump online and check out more of our videos. Come in, have a look around, click on the links to find more info, and tell your mates about it. It's so cool. If you guys think this is cool, I think you guys should tell your friends about it. I really reckon more people need to see what we're doing. I enjoy doing it. You guys on the chat say you enjoy doing it. So hang out with us, tell your friends about us, and be recharged. Do what you have to do. Let me have a look at the chat. Let me see what we've got. Here we go. Lucretia's going to read a book. That is awesome, Lucretia. Reading books is really cool. Angela's going to draw and get outside. Al's going to go longboarding. Who else have we got? Tristan's going to go for a run outside. Good on you, mate. And Pixie is going to play with friends at school. If you are going, when you go back to school this week, enjoy your week in schools. Enjoy your thing. Hi's going to eat all year. Hi. Great job eating. And Lucretia's also going to play with their rabbit. Those are awesome ways. You've got so many different ways of recharging. But before we finish, um, I just want to say, make sure, whatever you're doing, remember what the catchphrase is, and that's recharge before you hit empty. And let me pray to finish out. Here we go. Hey God, thank you so much that when you created everything, you created space and time for us to recharge, for us to, you know, feel refreshed again and recharge our batteries, so to speak. Not that we have batteries, but God, um, thank you also that you created us so differently that we all have different ways to recharge. So Lord, I ask that as we go through our week this week, you show us each and every single one of us a different way that suits us, that suits the way you made us, that we can recharge. Amen. 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 All right. I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to say see you later. I'm going to hand it over to Kyle to say see you later. We'll see you later, guys. Whoa, that's Whoa, not me. That's not that's you. Not me. Where are you? I'm gone. I think your camera's gone. My camera's died. Oh, oh that's so okay. you are that's saying right. goodbye to me. Do it to my voice. But hey, go and make that static flyer. Tell your friends about it. Show them, and that'll be awesome. You're uh, with but me. see you later. It's been awesome being here this morning, guys. And <laughs> what? Well, I'm trying to be your actions so you can be the words, and I'll be your actions as you say goodbye. Okay. See you later. Hand right hand up. Left hand up. Left hand, right hand on your shoulder, on your other shoulder, and then out forwards and out forwards, and then and then on your elbows and on your elbows, and then behind your head, behind your head, and then down on your hips, down on your hips, and then swing your hips around and say, see you later. Okay, All that's right, great. that's us. That is us for this week. And as usual, extra beer. Send us out, mate. Send us out. <laughs>